Okay, everyone, so welcome to my little course from React Native Tutorial, where you're going to learn how to build a React Native app that has maps and location sharing inside of it. We're also going to build a little Express Node.js backend where you can log in and create users. So here we have a login screen first. I already have my credentials inside where we can sign in and then we can select either to be a passenger or a driver. And this is both for iPhone and for Android emulator. So if I go and select I'm a driver on the iPhone here, then I already have a route driving here. And then I can select that I'm a passenger on the Android phone, for example. And then for example, for the driver, I can say, okay, now I want to find passengers. So I click on the find passengers. And now I'm waiting for a passenger request to come up. And then the passenger can go in and enter a destination they want to go to, for example, Facebook. And now there is places suggestions coming up, which is from the Google Places API. So this is from the Google Places API, the suggestions we get in here from what the user is typing in. Then I can click on a destination or tap on it. And now the route going to that destination is being drawn on the map. And this route we get from the Google Directions API. And if, if it seems like I'm, you're going to have a lot of things going on, don't worry, I'm going to teach you step by step how to do all of these things, going from how to install React Native Maps and how to set up the Node.js backend and how to talk with the Google API as well. So then the passenger can make a request and that's going to send a request to our socket IO backend. And then the socket IO backend is immediately sending a response to the driver that there is a passenger who is requesting a ride. And then we can say accept ride. Well, we also see the route going to the passenger here on the map. And then we can say we want to accept the ride. And then we go to the directions or the, uh, the directions to the passenger inside of Apple Maps or Google Maps. And then also for the passenger, we see now a little car icon on this map. So the passenger can see exactly where the driver is in real time. So that is it people. That is my little taxi app. And I'm going to show you how to build all of these things and how to do all of it step by step. It's a fairly long course. So I have broken it up into several sections. And if you get stuck at any sections, you can always go and look at my Git repository to see how the finished code looks like. 